This podcast is made possible by supporters like you. Mahalo. And by Atlas Insurance Agency, Hawaii's largest professional agency, helping Hawaii navigate insurance solutions since 1929. More at atlasinsurance.com. Hello, my kako. Welcome to a new episode of What School You Went? Start every conversation with that question. I'm Ron Mizutani. And today we're talking story with a local boy who aims to make Hawaii, well, the nation's most digitally literate state ever. I, I love that mission, and, and this guy is fascinating as well. We welcome Ka'ala Souza from Digital Ready Hawaii to the program. Welcome to PBS, brother. Oh, mahalo. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate the whole introduction there. That sounded great. In fact, if you can say that everywhere I go, that'd be fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for your walk-up song because, you know, <laughs> okay. nowadays all the nice. kids have walk-up songs, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? I'm going to take that intro. I'm just going to record it and I'm going to clip it and play it everywhere Please I go. Please do. Thank it. You, hey, hey, do as you wish. Thank you very much. Do as you wish. You know, they, they have a kid over at the UH baseball team, uh, Ty Atkins from mm-hmm. Big Island, mm-hmm. and his walk-up song, he's a pitcher. His walk-up song is the Consolidated Theater concert. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, bro. I the like whole it. place goes crazy. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. So, so you know he's coming in from yeah. the from the bullpen because yes. you hear. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. And then you know when he's not pitching, he he brings his own concert. Oh, my gosh. He's I like, like come I'll, I'll, I'll work on mine and get yeah. back to you. We're going to work on your walk-up song. <laughs> Kaala. Hey, before we continue, mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I, I feel like I'm going to enjoy this conversation already. Um, so don't disappoint. Okay. But the last name says it all, bro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what the heck? You give me like, what, what do we got? Is it 60 minutes? Is it 90 minutes? I, <laughs> that's not possible? even enough. Okay. okay Is it possible? I mean, even Frank DeLima said, bro, you know I'm a DeLima. Oh, my gosh. Okay. But uh, before we go any further, screw you in. Uh, that's right. I, in fact, you asked me that earlier, and I said, I'm not going to tell you. I've got to gotta do my reveal now. Thanks for asking, though. I went to Kamehameha. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're a warrior, too. Bro, you don't even remember me. I used to, like, try and, like, polish your shoes and ROTC and stuff. Are you kidding? Are yeah, you well, serious? Maybe. Maybe not this no, serious. No, you're, you're, mm-hmm. you're not. You're not. What year? What year did you go? Ask you first. Well, I don't know. But I'm the guest, though. but I'm 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 the elder. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm 85. Oh, you're 85. Mm-hmm. So you might have been in Company C with me. I think I was. You know, I remember there was a, a we met down on the the baseball field yes. or something. Is that right? We had like First Sergeant Smitty and stuff. Yes. Was the guys? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I just was talking about him yeah. yesterday. Love that guy. Yes. He was the he was the coolest. But I was. Uh, I, you were like what year did you? 83. 80, 83. So. Yeah. Did did we did we did my class beat you in the song contest? I can't remember. Wow, bro! I, I just I, you I just come out swinging. Huh? <laughs> I can't remember. Hey, who scheduled this guy? I can't. I did. I, you asked about my school, but the, I I will shout out to my class because it really wasn't me. I full confession, like I I used to cut out a song contest practice in the morning. We had Bixby. I don't know if you remember of the course physics I do. guy. Yeah, he was our first period guy, and we would just go. We would surf Kiwalos. Yeah. And we would have somebody sign us into the the, ah. the rehearsal. And but the problem was when during the actual song contest, I, I didn't know you any know of the, the words. words. <laughs> and so the, the one time the camera was on me, I was like and I wasn't even doing the watermelon thing. Yeah, oh my just, god. I, I didn't do anything. I, w- I was terrible. So shout out, to, props to my class for sweeping everything two oh, years wow. in a row. It, I just want to say that geek. for them, for them. Yeah. Like, it wasn't me. I was yeah. there to, you know, I was just taking up space. You were uh, the mighty anyway, red, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, red exactly was your right. Class. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I had nightmares <laughs> of your class. I, I was like, it. I didn't mean to bring that up. But nightmares. By the you way. asked me what's cool. So you said that, you know, the camera went on mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm. Brother, just FYI, even though we lost, the camera was on me because oh. I was in the front row. Oh, look at you. Because yeah. they put all of the good looking brothers. You, that, right? you but, gotta give but, me something. You gotta give me something for Thank that. you, bro. The, the good thing is I knew the words. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But I still did the watermelon thing. Oh. So folks listening to this, if you don't know what that mm-hmm. means, uh, the word watermelon for some reason and even our choral teachers, if you will, would mm-hmm. say this. If you don't know the words, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just Pretend yes. you're saying watermelon, yes, yes, yes. and it sounds, it looks like you just, yes, yeah, yes. thank you for whispering. Thank Nobody you. can <laughs> see, but <laughs> this is me as soon as I read I'm doing the watermelon thing for people who are listening on the podcast. Yeah, that okay, is... here's another one for you. Ready? <laughs> just look at me, okay? okay p- folks at home, what I said, or that you did the I love you, island view thing. <laughs> island view. <laughs> Ah, this is oh, terrible. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm talking to a warrior. What am I yeah, doing? Yeah, he, knows, Imo, he knows all Imo, the tricks. Po-ki. Oh, goodness. I did mm-hmm. not know you were from Kamehameha. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. And Sousa from what side? Well, what that's island? A, that's a... Okay, so 
uh, again, how, we got 90 minutes? What are we looking at here? I'm going to do my whole genealogy, mo'oku, ho and school. Uh, but so I, I didn't grow up with my, my father, so I didn't know any Sousa. So when you ask me if I know any oh. other Sousa, I'm going to say no. And you're going to say, no, 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 but you must know. Kimo. No, I don't. I don't know any Sousa. So I grew up with my grandparents and Kailua on Oahu. Uh, Meyer family. So okay. N-E-Y-E-R, oh. West Side, shout out to the Nanakuli, Wainai guys. Oh, yes. Not Meyers, but Meyer. Meyer, yeah. Meyer, yep. Yeah. So a group you. of them, Kailua, and um, yeah, they, that was, that was like my parents. Oh, good, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Sousas, I, I say it like that because my, my family on Kauai, they're all Sousas. Oh, well, yeah. look at you trying yeah. to get in on the Sousa thing now. Well, yeah, you know, I, I'm trying to claim fame. <laughs> like my friend said, there's two kind of people in this world, right? Okay. People who are Portuguese uh-huh, uh-huh. and people who want to be Portuguese. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I like that, uh, actually. And my, my father, like, I did find out, I, I met him, I met him again. Like, he, he left my mom and uh, my dad divorced when I was young. But he left when I was, like, 30. I met him, I'm sorry, he left when I was a little kid. I met him when I was about 30. Wow. So just, like, two years ago. <laughs> uh, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm just playing with you. But uh, he's from Maui, uh, Kianai, Hana. Okay. So shout out to all the East Side guys there, Uh and that's, that was a fun time for me. To, I went to go oh, visit some people over there. So guys, my aunties up there, cousins up there. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You connected that way. Yeah. Well, you know, everything happens as is. Right? It is. I, I, I'm and happy with where my life and is. And you have a merciful and uh, forgiving heart, too. You know, <laughs> for whatever reason, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah. All good. Um, Ka'ala. Yes. As in Mount Ka'ala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I forgot what your middle name was again. Was it? Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. Yeah, Kiyoshi. thanks, brother. Kiyoshi. I just want to, I just want to I want Are you to, just going? No, I, I just want to participate in the conversation. <laughs> what, is like, this, what is this, a, a roast? No, no, I just want to participate. <laughs> it, it's okay. We can be, you know, wow. open and this vulnerable. Is actually, this is actually starting to, I feel like I am in a, a what do you call that? Like a challenge. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to just spit some bars and right? do some rap battle. <laughs> Ka'ala from the mountain. Yeah, the west side over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. okay, here, here we go. Let's okay. let's really, <laughs> what we're here to talk about. Right. No, but you, you have this, um, where, where did that come from? Your 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 uh, mission mm. to to educate, you know, whoever needs it, yeah, Kupuna yeah, 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 or yeah. Keiki, about yeah. uh, computer literacy. Yeah. Um, what does that mean, first of all? So the ability to use the digital devices, right? I mean, like the, if you think about reading literacy, reading literacy is like a continuum. So you can start with like Dr. Seuss, you know, your ABCs and you go up to Shakespeare or something. So digital literacy, the same. You can start with like, you can turn it on. You can use a mouse, all the stuff that we take for granted. When you send me an email, like I know that you're already at the, the higher level of digital literacy. Like you can't come to my class. You can just clip out because you're too good already. But we talk about digital literacy, um, I think I think like us wanting to have the most digitally literate um, state in the country. For me, you know, I wasn't a good student in high school. I, I, I mean, cutting out a Bixby's class. Yeah. We already established that part. Um, but I paid attention a little bit to know that there was some reference, and I had to go look it up about Hawaii having one of the highest reading literacy rates of any nation in the world in the 1800s. So I had to go look that up and check that stuff out. And that was Kawakeo Oli. Um, kind of pushing that through when he became, uh, when he was Kamehameha the, the third. And one of the things that he said was, I mean, he gave us the, the state motto, right? The life of land is perpetuated ika pono. And, but he also said, he'll apuni pala pala ko'u. Mine is going to be a kingdom of literacy. And that was the big push. You know, the, the missionaries came, they were getting the, the, the alphabet and writing stuff and all of the elite were pushing that. And, and I do defer to you as the elder brother, you know, the elder sibling of the thing. Because that was what was happening then, too. And so, you know, 82, you know, like 83, 83. 83, brother. Don't make me older than I am. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I know you're 60 uh, 83, you know, yes. the elder, the, the elite you were doing it. Everybody was doing it. And within a generation or two, we had, mm-hmm. what, seriously, from zero to over 90% of our nation could read. And so to put that into perspective, in 1878, sorry, 1890, um, the United States of America was at 78% of the nation could read. And Hawaii was over 90%. The worldwide reading literacy rate was 19%. So we were killing it. We were on fire. And so for me, it was kind of perpetuating what Kawakeo Oli set out to do, just add digital into that. And so if we can be the most digitally literate, it does the same thing for reading literacy. There's opportunities. Mm-hmm. You know? And ultimately, our big thing is to try and just keep Hawaiians in Hawaii. You know? like we have, if you want to move to Texas, I'm not against that. You know? If you want to move to Vegas, I was talking to some friends last night who were in Vegas. Go, oh, I love Vegas. Go. But if you want to, if you have to move because you can't afford to live here, that's a different thing. So 
you know, that's, that's not what we're about. We have too many Hawaiians outside of the state for the first time ever. Mm-hmm. So anyway, long answer to your question. No, that's a, that's a beautiful answer because you, you always wonder what motivates, what inspires mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. And you going back to Kamehameha III and his uh, vision of perpetuating and maintaining that mm-hmm. literacy is mm-hmm. huge. And I can see why that carries over to t- today. You take your classes, mm-hmm. um, and you've done it in in some of the deepest part communities and rural areas. Um, wh- wh- why, 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 why go there? Mm-hmm. Why, why not just go straight to you know, maybe the aff- more affluent neighborhoods, yeah. if you will. Yeah, and you know the the interesting thing about that is that digital illiteracy, right? The, so the ability, the, the the you don't have the ability or the skill to use your leverage your devices for anything. Um, we're, I'm going to say, and this is just not me, but, you know, nationally, uh, probably 30% of our workforce is not going to be able to pass a basic computer skills test. Wow. Like if I give, bring your PBS staff over here, I got a link. You know, the state libraries is fantastic. We have a link to an assessment. We'll give it to you guys. And I would love to see how PBS staff over here works, you know. But 30% of our workforce is not going to be able to pass a basic computer skills test. So that's not including kupuna. That's not including kids. So we're probably looking 50, 60 percent of our state's not going to be able to identify a USB port or mm-hmm. talk about, you know, click on this or right click that. Um, so irregardless, and I use that word on purpose just to bug my son. Um, so regardless of where you live, what your demographic okay, is. Let's go back up a little bit. Yeah, sorry. There's no such thing as irregardless. That 100 percent. Go look that bugger up. <laughs> Do we have? Do we have somebody? Can Sorry, you, I just you, wanted to be kupuna on you. <laughs> yeah, Chess, can you guys look this up for me? The hundred. Oh my gosh! So my son has the same problem with this word, and he just says, "Well, it's in the dictionary because people like you forced it into the dictionary." Exactly. People like me, if it's in the dictionary, I'm just, it's just like ain't. I'm just. I'm it's not a real the, word. I'm okay, but anyway, rules. I digress. It's in the dictionary. Thank of course, you very it is much. now. <laughs> well, but when I was in school, there was in, no such word. Because I don't. The, you know, there's so enough. So I mean, so let's go back to, go back to reading literacy. Who insisted that the word irregardless? <laughs> literacy and digital literacy. So right. we're, you know, regardless we're about, of all of this, regardless of of trend. what your demographic is, right? So True. age, yep. ethnicity, uh, like household income, I'm going to say 30. percent It doesn't matter, right? So I can go to Kahala. I'm going to give them the test, and all the people listening from Kahala, you know, prove me wrong. I was at the state legislature talking about some stuff last year, not this one, um, but I'm like, hey, 30 percent of our legislators are not going to be able to pass this test. Wow. Prove me wrong. None of them took the test. Now, come on, you know, let's do it. Let's have the most digitally literate state. But, um, you know why, huh? It's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, a, it, yeah. it's a scary thing, you know, but yeah. you just got to click on stuff. It takes 10 minutes. I'll give you guys a link. Chelsea can put it onto the thing. Yeah, give me the there. link. I'm going to send him to Ron uh, Kochi. He's a friend uh, of mine. Yeah. See how he does. <laughs> yeah, he's been on a lot of these broadband hui calls too, yeah. you know. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But uh, so it doesn't matter where you are. But the thing is, if you are living in some of the more affluent places, you have uh, access. I mean, it's Oahu, right? So I started with the Workforce Development Council. It's a, uh, an office outside, uh, just uh, connected to the Department of Labor here in the state during the pandemic. Because I, I, do, I do like customer service training, leadership training. That was my job before the pandemic. So I do conferences, keynotes, that kind of thing, presentations. And then now the pandemic happens and I'm an out of work keynote presenter. Like nobody wants to talk about leadership and stuff like that. And so I, 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 one of my good friends, Alan Tang, had, had um, connected me up with the WDC. We're doing strategic planning with them. And they offered me a job, and the job was to try and help figure out what a resilient workforce in Hawaii um, uh, needs, uh, how we can develop a resilient workforce. And so, and I'm going around, I interview so many people they, talking about what the uh, work, workers, employees of the future need in, the, you know, in their jobs, what kind of skills, talk to everybody. And it was, it was fascinating because I kept ignoring the thing that people just said, hey, listen, we need people that show up, number one. Okay, and I can't help you with that. That's a different thing. But number two, we need people that can work with computers and solve problems, number three. So I'm like, yeah, 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 but let's talk about other stuff. You know, what's the cool thing? It's, you know, diversity, diversify uh, the in- economy. And eventually, after a while, because I'm a little bit stubborn too, you know, I, I realized that it is computer If we don't have the computer skills, then we're not going to be able to take advantage of the opportunity. So during the pandemic, everybody who was digital became more digital. Mm-hmm. You know, I ended up with two more computers on my desk. You know, one just for streaming stuff, one for this, one for that. And the people who are not digital, even if you stayed where you were, you, you fell back. You know, it was so it, it was just a, a, a time. It, it just revealed what was happening, it revealed the digital divide. 
like kind of like the low tide reveals it. So I go off to all these different places and I've been some places that um, I've never even heard of, you know. Um, like I was talking to Kamehameha schools and they were saying, hey, listen, we want to help support this. And I'm like, super. You know, they're, we're interested in East Maui. I'm all, wonderful, same, me too. They're like, Molokai, I'm all, perfect. Because my wife and I are trying to move to Molokai and so I, I, I'm already there, you know, doing classes. They're like, super. And they were like, why not? And I'm like, what side? Perfect, same. And then they're like, Ka'u. Uh, ka I'm like, yeah, yeah, perfect. I'm there too, Auntie Jesse. Then they're like, Milo'i. And I go, I never heard. I didn't even know where that is. <laughs> and I had to go Google that. It's a beautiful fishing. Yeah. And, I, and I'm, you know, still talking to some people about how we get classes out there. Because most of the time, what I found is that when you go to, like, I was in Kapa'au uh, a month ago, a bunch of kupuna up there. And they just don't get access to yeah. this stuff. You know, it's hard to get instructors out there. So, you know, all the other places have access to other people. And this is a, a thing for me. So if you're rural, you generally don't have access. Um, you, you, and I, I focus on that, the computer skill level that is less than one. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about digital literacy, I'm just trying to bridge that digital divide that, you know, you're on the wrong side. You, we, we do classes that I call computer 001. And everybody comes, they look at the flyer, they look at the handout. And I go, hey, I just want to make sure you guys are in the right class. And, and they go, and I say, tell me what class you're in. Just read the, read the handout. You know, read the slide. And they go, computers 101. I go, no, negative. Look, look again. And they go, oh, computer 001. I'm like, yes, because 101 is for college. <laughs> I'm doing 001 basic stuff. Um, and that's where we're at. And I said, I'm going to go slow. So if you're too good already, you got time for you to leave. It's no problem. And they go, no. I go, I'm going to go slow, super slow. We're going to define stuff. This is a computer. So. That's why we've been going out to the, the edges. I've seen some wonderful stuff, uh, wonderful people. How fulfilling. Yeah, that, it's immediately, 100% yeah. immediately fulfilling. So. And and you see it in their eyes too. They, they, I mean, not just Kupuna, mm -hmm. wherever you touch. Oh, yeah. um, because it's the, the equity issue is very real, mm -hmm. uh, the digital equity, because yep. yep. accessibility, et cetera, they all go hand in hand. Yes. Um, and the reality is not everybody has a device, yes. right? Or a laptop. Yeah. Or even access to, or even the ability to yeah. purchase. Yeah, that's something that's part of your mission as well. Yeah, um, and this was a kind of accidental. So it wasn't like this is not some strategic plan that I set out. You know, when we're trying to figure out what the workforce resiliency looks like, um, you know, I was contracted with the state. My contract ended, but our program was still going. We had a pilot program with the libraries, the state library. We have a we have a great like state library system here, and we have a rock star librarian, Stacey Aldridge. Um, but I was working with them and the community colleges, but the, my contract ended, but the program was still going. So we had another 40 classes to do. We're do, offering free classes around the state. Um, and we're thinking like, we're going to do free classes. Everybody's going to come. And it was hard, you know, because, mm -hmm. you know, for a couple different reasons, but you know, if you're, if you don't have a computer now in 2024, there's some reasons why, yeah. you know, and some of it is emotional, psychological. Um, but we, um, we were, uh, you know, in, in that project, my, so I just kept working on it, like, and kind of just volunteered, coordinated it. And we couldn't get classes over to Molokai. And my wife and I have been, you know, she's, she's a, she's super smart. Like, she's a great student, 4.0 student when I met her. Uh, we're dating. She was at uh, Hawaii Loa. And within about three months, I brought that grade point average down to 3.6. <laughs> like, <laughs> personally, <laughs> you don't need to study for Chinese civilization. Um, but she's super smart. But she's, a warrior she, right she's, there. In, she's in healthcare, and so we're, we're trying to get, she's trying to get to Molokai to, to do stuff there because Molokai wins and all of the yeah. terrible things. And so I'm like, hey, you know, how about we just, I'll go cut the grass and I'll do the class in Molokai. And so I started doing that and I was just doing the classes for free because we couldn't get trainers to Molokai. Mm -hmm. And so then somebody said, hey, can this great? Can you do the class over here? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I can, you know, in, on Oahu. And then, oh, can you do it over here in, in, in Kauai? I'm like, yeah, no, no problem. And then it was kind of like, just ended up going like in that way. And then I met um, a Dr. Kelly Withy from AHEC. It's the Area Health Education Center. And I met her in Molokai. And she, I, was, I had gotten my first batch of computers from the Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement, CNHA. And they said, hey, we heard you're giving uh, computer classes away. And we have computers. Would you like some? I'm like, yes. And they're a MacBook Pro. Wow. But from 2009, <laughs> so, yeah. but it was still, still like, yeah. you know, the keyboard is great. So I'm like, I'll take them. So I met him in the parking lot, CNHA, and they were super cool. I'm like, do you guys need anything from me? Like, 
I need to sign stuff. They're like, no. They're in fact, just take pictures. <laughs> so I was just taking pictures of all the people. So I went to Moonkai. We had our first class in the library. I gave out like four of them. And I had one girl there who was crying as I gave her. She's never had her own computer. Wow. She's always been told that somebody, like she's, she's stupid with computers. And so I'm giving her. She's like, I can have this? I'm like, yes. She goes, I mean, do I have to give it back? I'm like, no, not unless it doesn't work. Then call me. I'm like, I don't want it back. You keep it. And she's crying, crying, crying. She's probably in her 40s, never had her own computer. And then from there, we started working with like, uh, different organizations there. Rosie Davis is on Molka Inn. She, she just, she's like, she's the, that community leader. And um, started giving out computers. But I met Dr. Withy at one of these classes. And she was doing a, a healthcare thing, and a telehealth. And I was doing my computer class. And she goes, hey, how about, how about you know, you do the telehealth stuff with your, your, your class? And because she was giving away computers, too. And she, I had my MacBook Pro. She was, look how old those are. Mom. Are you teasing my computer? It's like, <laughs> and she kind of started laughing. And I go, but we have a way better keyboard than yours. Um, so she said, hey, listen, you know, how, how about you do the telehealth? That'd be great. She goes, I'll pay you. I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> you know? You got my attention. And then she says, and she's not going to like this story, but she said, we'll pay you in, in computers. I'm all, I'll take them. Because she was trying to do increase the number of people doing telehealth. And again, we're talking rural health, right? If you don't have a doctor within like, you know, super close, you're not going to go. Right. So I'm all, I'll take it. She goes, and I go, whoa. She goes, and goodwill. We'll pay you in goodwill. And I go, I'll take that too. And she's not going to like it because she's going to say, yeah, we offered to pay you. And now I'm actually working for her part-time for the next couple of months, um, which is great because uh, it airfare and stuff, it's super. Um, but she just started... She goes, I said, how many computers can you give me? She goes, the sky's the limit. And I go, what? And I go, the sky's super high. And um, she's like, uh, whatever. And I go, a thousand? She goes, let's do a thousand. So that was the goal. Wow. And, and she, we did it. Like, so right now, that was probably the end of 2021, early 2022. So we're almost at 2,000 people now that we've given classes to. And given them And given them computers, computers yeah. Awesome. And um, and awesome. I'm telling you, like, there's one guy in, in Hilo. There was a, a program over there, fantastic program, like this little Kahi substance abuse program. And there's one guy there who held up this computer. He's talking to his friend. And he didn't tell me, but he's like, you know, I've never actually held a laptop in my hand. <laughs> and it was like, a, he's in his 40s again, too, you know. Um, but yeah, so instantly fulfilling. Uh, and they just get the tools. They're refurbished, right? Which means I tell people it's like a refurbished computer is like when you buy a, a computer from a dealer. You know, instead of me buying a computer and meeting somebody in the Safeway parking lot, you know, which yeah. I've done. Yeah, you know, yeah. nothing I've wrong done. with that. Um, but you don't know what you're getting, right? Sure, sure. You know, so the refurbished ones, we have, the, there's a nonprofit here in, on Oahu, Hawaiian Hope, that does this kind of stuff. And we get some from Amazon and Best Buy, we get refurbished ones. But we give them that and I say, hey, go learn on this computer. This is free. Go push whatever button you like. You're not going to break it. Like if you're going to learn how to surf, you're not going to go buy a brand new longboard. Mm -hmm. That's a thousand bucks. You're going to go go to your uncle's house and pull the board out from underneath his house and go, you know, surf on that and learn on that. So we've been giving out free classes, free computers. And um, and it sounds like it's a lot to me because mm -hmm. I was doing it. Um, but it really is nice. It's like a drop in the bucket. for So 30 percent of our workforce is like 200,000 people. That's just workforce, right. not including Kupuna. So, you know, I'm just kind of throwing starfish back one at a time. You know, <clears throat> that's that's a great story. Ka'ala. Um, congratulations to you. And, and for making a difference in our community in a, in a real profound and meaningful way, uh, the princess would be proud of you, brother. I, yeah. it, it, thank you for saying that because mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a big deal. Appreciate that. She would. And for those on, not maybe from the islands, uh, Pr Princess Bernice Powahi Bishop was. Uh, had an incredible vision. Oh, I'm getting chicken skin. She might even be here right now. Um, for the Hawaiian people, the Hawaiian children, and um, part of their mission was providing an opportunity for Native Hawaiians, orphans, to have an education. And uh, Ka'al and I are, are part of that beneficiary. Yeah. It means a lot to a lot of folks. Um, <clears throat> we had Michael Khan in here just a, mm. about a month ago, and um, the, the subject turned to that. And he too got emotional, mm. Michelle Kauhane as well, yeah. because it's very real. And, and does, does, you, know, you don't have to be a Kamehameha alum to understand yeah. the value of kupuna right. 
What, why are you? What, what? Where are the tears coming from, brother? Um, appreciation, I think. Uh, Juliana. Yeah, it, it's, and it's what it is. That's the word that I use too. It wasn't something that and we're going to get into digital literacy. You know, right now there's there's a lot of attention on it, but um, it it was like. I was just, here's the, here's the kuleana for you. Like when we moved to Molokai, one of our friends was like, hey, you know, this place that you guys want to move to, a lot of kuleana there too. And like, I think like Paki was born in that valley, you know, close by us. And, but so the, the kuleana like that, that is, I, I don't think this is like 10 years or the rest of my life kind of stuff. Like digital literacy is an urgent kind of imp- important quadrant thing. You know, you, you got to get it done now. I had one class that we did up on the big island and when I started working with the, the community leader there, um, you know, she, oh, I got like, you know, 35 people. And by the time we actually got around to doing it, she was, oh, how many computer, you know, computers should we bring? She's like, oh, I got like, and maybe 30. I go, how come I thought we had 35? She goes, well, some people passed away. And it's like, it's a, I mean, it's not going to be in like 20 years of doing digital literacy. Um, you know, there's a gap. There's people who need it and um, we need, need to do it now. Uh, and everybody goes, well, but things are changing. We're going to have all these new programs. Yeah, but I'm not going to teach you how to use the program. Yeah, not like you're teaching Excel. I don't want to teach Excel. Yeah. I'm going to teach yeah. you how to, you, I'm going to teach you what you need to learn so that you can learn whatever you need, want to learn online mm-hmm. by yourself. Because I don't go to, like, you, we don't go to computer classes. We go to, we go to YouTube. I'm a proud student of YouTube University. Hey. YTU, represent. Yep. Yeah, I don't know what the Good school yourself. song is for that, but, <laughs> but you can go learn whatever you want. There's like six hour classes on there for how to code stuff and, I can't remember how to do pivot tables. And I've taught this stuff before. So I've taught all of the office programs and way back in the 90s. Um, but, you know, for me, the the thing is, it, it's a it's a kuleana that is here. It helps me. Uh, and, and Kamehameha Schools was a part of that back in, in 2022. We still work with them now. Like, <clears throat> my son and I are on the other end. Of, like, so if we talk about the 001 side. We do another program that is helping um, people learn how to start online businesses. So FBA... Uh, fulfilled by Amazon, uh, Etsy. Uh, again, so it's not just I want you to learn how to use a computer so you can mm-hmm. go play solitaire. I want you to learn how to use a computer so you have these opportunities so you can stay in Hawaii. I, I, by the way, I still play solitaire with Yeah, cards. I'm not judging it at all. <laughs> 80, 82? 83, I'm, brother. Just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Yeah, the 82 yeah. guys still play <laughs> yeah, with cards too. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we used to play trumps all the time back in the, back in the day. <laughs> we played Paiute, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Princess Pauahi Bishop, uh, she's a, I mean, the kind of vision that she had as a leader is a big deal for me. So anytime, and Kamehameha Schools is, you know, we're in our, uh, uh, um, a, a couple of years we've been working with them on that. So they've been working on a, uh, a program. In fact, we just opened up a whole new cohort right now. Learn how to start FBA businesses. Uh, Chelsea's going to put the links and stuff in the thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, they, if we just open it up now. It's, so it's like, you, you can make money, you know. It, it, I. That's the thing. You can stay in Hawaii. You know, you don't have to move. Perfect. Unless you want to move. Then That's you part can. of your mission, though, yeah. and to provide a, a resilient workforce yes. yeah. is to to give the tools that you need yes. to succeed. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm so, a poet and even know. Oh my gosh, look at you spinning bars. I thought put wow. a, put a, hit the beat on that. Let's do a little rap battle. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I I think that like I'm not going to teach you Excel. And that's just going to teach a, a, a program. I'm going to teach you like I think the the better term for us is digital resilience. Mm-hmm. So if you have the skills to learn the next iteration of whatever it is, then you just learn it. That's part of your thing. So chat GPT 3.5 or 4.0 now, you know, whatever. I, I, let's go there real quick mm-hmm. because that's scary. Mm-hmm. Okay. AI is, is intriguing. It's mm-hmm. exciting. Mm-hmm. But there's a part of it that's super scary. What, what part is scaring you? I don't know. I could probably ask AI to... Um, you know, have Ka'ala Souza say something to me mm-hmm. on video. Yeah. And somebody real close looking to you. That's right. That's right. That's your right, voice. That's right yeah, yeah. And it's only going to get better. That part, technology. That part is scary. Yeah. yeah. That part is 100% scary. But you would know, yeah, because you would know, like, if I said 82 or 83, if yeah. that was really me or was that AI? Well, you know, God, did I say brother, watermelon? I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I took a test just recently where they had, like, Tom Cruise videos and, like, you know, famous movie stars and stuff. And one was made by AI and one was real. And I, f- I got a 50%. Like, I couldn't tell. And I know what the test was about. And that is going to get better. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's stuff now when I teach people how to use a mouse or how to, you know, click and double click and stuff. I feel like I'm teaching people how to start a fire rubbing sticks together. Correct. Because in five years, we're going to be interfacing with our computers much differently, much mm-hmm. more uh, differently. 
but still, you know, we need some kind of, the computer's still going to be a computer. So everybody goes, oh, I used a computer in the 90s. It's so different. I'm like, it's not. Oh, I use a Mac. I cannot use this other one. Oh, it's, they're all the same. And so now, you know, we talk about AI. It, it is, I, th- I think it's opportunity. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's opportunity. There's always, you know, people going to do bad stuff with it. Mm-hmm. But being alert to it. Somebody called me yesterday. I was coming home. My son and I went surfing. And um, my thing came on the car. And it said, it was, it said, why Luku? You know that? Yes. I, I've had a phone call from somebody. And it had, it said, Kauna Kakai. So yes. I had to answer. I, I get thought, that one all the time. I, I thought I had to answer because I thought I'm Ooh. doing a computer class. If it can be somebody. So I go, hello, this is Kaala. And they go, hey, hi, uh, Kalala. I'm a, yeah, that's close. And I go, where are you calling from? They go, our office. I'm a, where's your office at? And they're like, uh, you know, it, does it matter? I'm like, yeah. You're that guy. I want you, <laughs> I want yeah. you to tell them, I want you to pronounce the name of this thing. And so I am, but it just drives me nuts. And so, you know, the kupuna is particularly susceptible Absolutely. because they, they're they used to keeping their, their houses open back in the day. We never sure. used to lock our door, lock our car doors. We don't lock that kind of stuff. And so now they go, oh, somebody wants to give me lots of money or somebody needs help. I go, Whoa. And it's hard for me to say, I need you to be a little bit more. Um, like cautious or suspicious right. or not paranoid, but I need you to be like, you know, our, our lifeguards, um, our ocean safety guys, best in the world. And, you know, they have that sign that says, if in doubt, don't go out. Right. So I made it my own for internet. I said, if you're not sure it's a trick, don't click. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I made that up. You know, so if you hear that. <laughs> you patent that. Uh, so speaking right of like the rhyming poet stuff, right. you know, right. Imua. <laughs> so. yeah, you know, I could talk story with you all day, Kaala, but you know, this is a timed program. What? I thought you gave me 90, 90 minutes, bro. You, you, you Ooh, can't. The Sue's are coming what? up. But we you don't want they, introduction. What we that, no, that was just, yeah, that was just the, oh uh, the, you know, the poo poo coming mm. up. But um, I think what you've, what you've already accomplished is, is amazing. You understand the responsibility that comes with that. You made mention of Kupuna mm-hmm. to providing them access mm-hmm. um, and, and, uh, equity but with that comes huge yeah. responsibility because now we've opened the door yep. for the bad people yep. to to take advantage but yep. part of that resiliency is understanding and learning and knowing yeah what's good what's yeah. bad what doesn't work you yeah. know bad people are everywhere yep. they're going to exist yep. yep but that doesn't mean we deny mm-hmm. this opportunity yeah, yeah, yeah i always talk about it in here I mean, these guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about Every time I hear, oh, we cannot do that, it's a challenge. or this. Mm-hmm. No, it's an opportunity. Yes. It really is. Yes, that's the thing for me, too. And I, I think um, when we, we talk to, like, Kupuna about, again, I'm not, it's not just Kupuna, because you think, oh, if you're young, you know how to use it. If you're old, you don't. But it, just because you're good on TikTok, you know, you're good on Instagram <laughs> doesn't mean you're, you, you can, you know, so you go to, you hear all the stories from the community colleges and saying, you know, that people don't know how to use a, a mouse or don't know how to use Word. Um, so it's just across the board. And if, if I've already challenged all the other states, seriously, and not all of them know they've been challenged, you know, but that's on them. Like, yep. you, if you don't know, you better ask, you know, I said, you know, the, but some states do know, and they've said, we, we'll take that challenge. Like yep. Minnesota, uh, Virginia, Nebraska, Louisiana. They've seen that statement. I, I've told, I've talked to them. I've told them, I said, bring it. You know, mm-hmm. what I want is Max Holloway, a shout out to him. Good luck, Max coming up. Um, is to say the standard bang Hawaii, let's take all these other states, you know? And if we can, it's not, I don't want to beat everybody, but, but if we can compete with the other states, you know, Absolutely. we can have the most digitally literate country too, if they want. I just want Hawaii to be number one. I like that. Hey, you got to strive for something. That's right. Imo. You know, Imo, I mean, shucks. Four years, I was hoping to understand what that was like to have the thrill of victory. Ooh, sorry about that. But you and went it back never there. came. You went back. You went it back never came. You went back to that. I didn't bring that up. I, at least I, I vicariously lived it with my daughter. Oh, but, um, well, look at you having the last thing in. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I had to get that in there. Good, but you good. heard vicariously, too. That's, That's right. a four-syllable, six, five-syllable word. That's, that, that's how we know you. Went to I'm just going to expand my vocabulary. Um, but it's been a pleasure meeting you. And Thank I wish you. you the most success t- in your mission to make us the most literate or digitally, digitally mm-hmm. literate mm-hmm. state in the nation. Yeah. Thank you. Um, are we done any, for real? Are you, are you for real? This is only like 30 minutes. Are you serious? For real, bro. What? I'm getting the rap. I, I see that. I see the, <laughs> I see the nonverbal communication over here. It's, no, no, no. Calling but the I, bouncers. I wanna, <laughs> you know, all our sponsors are going, okay, wrap that guy. <laughs> wrap it. Good luck. Bring it. Yeah. Not you know, you know when, I was, at, when I was at K2 and, and my, um, my producer would be in my ear, his name was Adam. You guys remember Adam? Yeah. Adam would always tell me because I didn't stick to the prompter ever. In fact, people thought I was Portuguese. Oh. 
Remember? That's two right. people That's in right. this world, That's people right. who are, people learned. who want to be. I wanted to That's be. That's what I learned. Um, but he would always tell me, rap in my earpiece. <laughs> and right now I'm getting the rap. Good luck. No, but um, however we can help you, bro, yeah? in yeah. this mission, please yeah. let me know. Oh, okay. Yeah, 100%. Seriously. I, I, I realize now, like, I've done this thing, like, where, you know, you, you want to go fast, you go by yourself. But we, if, like, I did a thousand people in, a, like, in 2023, I think, 2022, in classes, and it was so much like, but you just didn't want to stop because you got to cook when the fire is hot. Yep. And then my wife, in fact, one time said, "Hey," she shook my hand. I go, "What is this?" She goes, "Oh, nice to see you." I go, "What? The, what is this?" Oh. But I realize now that there's more because there's so many people out there. So we're trying to expand. We started yep. a nonprofit. I got my kids doing stuff. My wife is doing telehealth stuff with me. Uh, so we're recruiting people to come teach classes, work with the library. And so you, you're hired, bro. You, you're you, not you're alone. Good. You're good. Seriously. Thank you so much. I appreciate you're that. You're not alone. Appreciate Because uh, it's all of our kuleana. Appreciate it. It's all of it. our responsibility Thank to you. do that. And um, I do believe we need to keep our people home. Mm-hmm. You know, I have two living on the mainland, yeah. Minnesota and Oregon. Yeah. You know, I would love for them to come home. Yeah. Um, some of it is just opportunities, yep. 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 which, you know, whatever. Let's as long about, as you come home and you yes, take sir. your slippers off. That's and right, don't, that's right. don't, walk, don't walk in the house with your... We'll, t- we'll talk right after about those online jobs, okay? Yeah. The online businesses and stuff. We'll hook you up, hook your kids up. Um, I was going to say one more thing. Shucks. Uh, rap. Rap. You got to rap. Rap it. I know. Stop. <laughs> I get, I'm hearing voices in my head. No, but uh, seriously, I want I want to be able to offer our... Extend what we can. Yeah. PBS Hawaii Appreciate in it. your mission. Appreciate your, it. Your uh, mission is what we do. That's yeah. part of who we are. Education mm-hmm. and having accessibility... Mm-hmm. All of those trigger words mean everything to us, yeah. you know, and providing access and equity. Perfect. It is who we are. Perfect. And um, no matter where you're from, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no matter what you, where you call home, That's right. we are all in this together. Appreciate that. We're in the same canoe, man. Yeah. I, I, I really, it means a lot to me. I, I appreciate yeah. what you do. If you were to sit in the canoe, though, brother, mm-hmm. would you be seat one, two, three, four, or five, or would you be steering? Yeah, you know, I've actually have sat in the canoe a couple of times. I didn't paddle. Like, I never competed in... They, they tried me to steer one time. Oh, my. And then they go, ooh. And about, you know, they said, hey, aim for the left island. We're at the Mokulua. Yeah. Go, you know, the right island is okay. And then after that, like, you know, we're heading into the beach right now. And so <laughs> then they put me at five and they call me the assistant steers person. <laughs> and then after hey, that's that. That's hurtful to the guys who sit in I five. I know. And then there's a guy who actually did the, the channel and was in one of my classes. And he goes, hey, five is like for real. When yeah. you're in the Molokai channel. Yeah. But for me, it was not. And so then they had me like just scrubbing down the canoe after and hey, rinsing it off. It's a very important job. It's a role. Man. It's a part of the, Not everybody can paddle. <laughs> not everybody can sit in seat that's one and certainly right. not everybody can steer. That's right. Because the Thank steering, so I, I have paddled. Look but at you. Yeah, yeah. Seven. I have se- I have seven Kaivis under my belt. Oh, my gosh. But that belt was a lot smaller. Oh, man. let's not even go there. But you, you poke right, you yeah. can go left. You poke left, you can go right. It's very confusing for I, class yeah, of 85 yeah. I'm in a zero, zero, 001. <laughs> I'm in the zero, zero, 001 program for steering oh, my, right I'm now, bro. Over here. <laughs> I'm in zero, zero, 001, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be quiet, let you yeah. have that last thing right Got there. It. Go ahead. Do your rap. Give me something. Rap. Do your rap, bro. Gosh. Go ahead. Do your wrap up. Ka'ala Souza, brother, making a difference in our community. Mahalo nui. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much. Mahalo nui for joining us, folks. Uh, that was good fun. Join us next time, another episode of Screw Went. I'm pretty sorry I asked you that question. <laughs> Until next time. Ahuyo. Ahuyo. What School You Went is a PBS Hawaii production. Music by Taimane Gardner. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And tell your friends. You can find us on pbshawaii.org and everywhere you get your podcast.